Welcome back to Teach Me to Science, and today we're going to be talking about specific heat. So the definition for specific heat is how much energy or heat is required to raise the temperature of the item one degree Celsius when there's one gram of it. Specific heat is really important when you're trying to figure out how much energy you need to put into something. For example, if you're trying to cook a chicken breast, you need to know the specific heat because it may impact how much of the chicken breast you try to cook at a time. If it has a really high specific heat, you might try and cook less of it so it takes less time for you to heat up your chicken. And there's one very important formula that uses specific heat when you're trying to calculate energy. Just for clarification, the little triangle or the delta sign in front of the T means a change in temperature and it means final minus initial. This equation solves for the energy required to raise the temperature of an object so much. Pay attention to units here because they're very important and they'll come in handy later. You also need to pay attention to the units that your specific heat is given in. Pause the video and think about this question for a little bit. So do you think a higher specific heat means that you have to put more or less energy into the substance? A higher specific heat means that more energy is required to heat up one gram of the substance. If we look at units, this becomes really easy to see. The normal units for specific heat are joules per gram degree Celsius. This means that the number in front of these units, like 272, is joules required per one gram and one degree Celsius. For example, if it takes 29 joules per one gram per one degree Celsius versus two joules per one gram per degree Celsius, you can see that 29 joules is a lot more energy and will take more energy for that specific substance to heat up. All right, let's do an example calculation. What is the heat required if 12.4 grams of water with a specific heat of 4.186 joules per gram degree Celsius is heated from 22 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. To start these problems, I like to write out my equation as well as each of my knowns and my unknown. In this case, I have a mass, I have a specific heat, and I have a change in temperature. This means I can use the equation Q equals MC delta T to solve for the energy in joules. Reminder, this will be the energy that is required to cause the temperature change we're showing here. After you have all the numbers sorted out, it's really just a plug and chug problem, meaning that all you have to do is plug in the numbers and chug away on your calculator. All right, and for an answer, I got 1,453.37 joules. Now the units on this are very important. How do I know it's joules versus kilojoules? If we look at the units of the mass, the specific heat, and the temperature, we'll see that the grams will cancel out and the degrees Celsius will cancel out, leaving us with joules. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you could please like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Bye!